An early morning fire was the reason behind previously scheduled court proceedings being halted Thursday at the Manchester Parish Courthouse. Reports are that the fire began shortly before 4 a.m. and was contained to the upper floor of the building. Assistant Superintendent at the Mandeville Fire Station, Carlton Brown, explained that the team was able to bring the fire under control. We responded immediately. Immediately, we called the Christian Fire Unit, so they responded immediately too. We arrived on the scene. Uh, one section of the building was confined uh, to the fire and the, the, a section of the roof. Hence, we brought two jets in operation and we have brought the fire under control. Right. Mr. Brown added that the team ensured the fire was contained. Other areas, however, suffered water damage. What we wanted to do was to ensure that the fire uh, was confined so it was not spread to the other areas of the building that we have, uh, we have achieved. One of the major cases being heard at the courthouse is the $400 million fraud case involving the Manchester Municipal Corporation, which is slated to continue on Friday. Acting Director of Communication at Court Management Services, Kadish Fletcher, says an assessment will be done to determine the full extent of the damage. In terms of files, which I'm sure persons would be concerned about, those files were not in that area. It will definitely have a significant impact on our proceedings for today. All matters that were set for today will be adjourned as we allow the fire department to conduct their assessment. We have significant water damage from the department trying to put out the fire. So those things, the, the building has to be cleaned up or the area has to be cleaned up. We're encouraging all persons who had matters set for today to contact the court starting tomorrow or to contact the court management services to get an update on when those matters will be rescheduled. The court matters that were scheduled for November 7 were postponed until December 5. The cause of the fire is unknown. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.